Hi, my name is Paula Anzalotti. Um, I'm originally from Hartford, Connecticut. I was born in Hartford. I went to grammar school, uh, St. Augustine's. I went to uh, Buckley High School, and then I went on to college in Boston, Graham Junior College. Um, my major was in retail management, and that's where I spent the early part of my years after college. And then I uh, was hired at the Division of Special Revenue for the state of Connecticut. And um, I believe in the year 2001, uh, it was 2000, 2001 when we had layoffs. And I was one of the layoff. And, um, and I was sent to Manchester Community College because of my seniority in my union. And I was um, an assistant accountant in the business office. Um, Nancy Ashenbrenner was, was my immediate supervisor then. Mm -hmm. Jim McDowell was the director. Mm -hmm. And Tom was the, the dean at that time. Mm -hmm. And what year was the first year here then? 2001. Mm -hmm. Did I say 10? No, 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 no. okay. <laughs> yeah, 2001. Okay. So what was your first impression of the college when you got here? Well, it was... And, it, and what did you know about MCC before you even came here? Um, I, I, I believe before I even came here, uh, I, I took a class here once. I, I don't remember if it was um, through, through the state or if it was... Yeah. I don't... Uh, totally remember, but I, I do remember taking a class down in the south south end there, the um, where you had the yeah. lower campus right. where you had the little um, cabins there for classes, and I do remember that. Um, I th yeah, you're being nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I, the, the only thing that I thought I would like would be that, that it was a college and in, 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 in that I would be working with students. And I felt good about that. I, I thought I'd like to uh, deal with the students. Okay. Um, any early memories of staff meetings, administrative meetings, and problems that came up at that time, you know, when you first started working here? Um, what are some of the issues, you know? You know what? Um, issues, I don't think there were a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just a layoff, so everybody was kind of like, I think th the first thing was the they were waiting to see if the layoffs were going to be rescinded. Mm -hmm. So it was a little awkward stage for me mm -hmm. because I was here and uh, the person I bumped was here and we were like one was in one room, the other one was in the other room, and I... I do remember feeling a little awkward, and everyone was hoping that uh, the governor would rescind the layoffs, and I would go back to you know the division of special revenue, and and uh, the gal that I bumped wouldn't lose her job. I mean, everybody was trying to think positively, yeah. so uh, I think that was the most awkward. Um, the other would be maybe transitions when Nancy Eschenbreder left as my supervisor, and she is now the director at uh, Tunks's Community College. So, you know, she was promoted. So um, she, um, so there was a spot there. And then um, Roz Banks, who, who was one of, you know, one of the employees, um, took the position, and she became my supervisor. So that was nice because we didn't have to really feel anyone else out right. new or anything like that. Uh, and then Ross stayed a couple of years, and then, um, and then she left. She left the state, basically. And Maura, Maura Carr is now my immediate supervisor, and Regina is the director, and Jim now is the dean. So, you know, it just seems like they're, you know, everybody's growing and growing, and, yeah. you know, so right. it seems nice. Right. Okay. What's your general image of the college? I mean, how do you see the college and what it's doing for students? And Well, when I first came, I, I just thought state-of-the-art because right. that was when uh, they just opened oh, up new buildings the new buildings already. and all that. So and it was quite state-of-the-art, I mean, and it still is, and yeah. it's just getting better and better yeah. as far as that. Um, 
students are students. You know, I think they're great. You know, you, you they're so cute. And when I was um, at one point in time, I um, had a lot to do with uh, student activities in the clubs and. Mm -hmm. And I used to uh, see the representatives of the clubs a lot, and it was nice. I, I'll never forget this one young man used to come in and excuse himself when he came to my door and say, uh, do you have a moment? He was so polite and such a nice gentleman. I'll never forget him. I'll forget his name, but I won't forget his face. Yeah. And uh, it was so nice to see the different personalities. And uh, yeah. Yeah. so... Uh, it's I, I like that. How I long like did that. You do that where you were directly involved with student activities. Oh, a good five years. Yeah. A good five yeah. years, and then I did travel. So I got to I got to uh, work with uh, a lot of the faculty, right. and you know if they had little issues with, you know how to uh, set up their travel paperwork or their reimbursements, okay. yeah. you know I was the person. So I, I think I had some great positions where I, I got a mix. I got a nice mix of being involved with the students and then I got a nice mix because I was involved with a lot of the faculty so I knew my surroundings and the people around me and it was and until today. Now I do accounts payable and I I just pay bills. <laughs> I don't, I don't see anybody anymore, but uh, but it's Let me ask it's you good. To go back to student activities. Who was the director of student activities at the time? Okay, Linda. Linda Thomas. Yes, oh, she okay. was there for a little bit, and then, as a matter of fact, I was on the committee who hired um, TJ. TJ. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so that 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 was. Anything oh, nice. funny that you can share with us? Things that happened on the job, or oh, with, funny, with funny. students, oh. or faculty? Or from the state getting money approved to go to tra for travel? That sometimes would be a oh, that's nightmare. yeah, that's always a nightmare. But um, I don't know if anything really right. that that just hips me right away. Anything significant at the college? You know, an event, a program that stands out that you could share with us. Well, I think, um, I don't remember exactly, I think it was, it, it was the year after 9-11, uh, I think, when we had a little something outside, we're all ha held yeah. hands, and and it was like a ser the first year uh, after 9-11, yeah. we had a nice little uh, ceremony, we held hands, we, we talked, you know, there was a few different speakers, and... Um, I, I just I felt that that was something that I really liked. Was that, I remember I was outside by the yes. Poles, right? Yes, yeah. it was. Yes. Um, any, do you see any changes in the college since you got here in 2001? I don't know. I mean, you got to see the whole new campus, so you, you don't have the memory so much, except you were a student in the lower campus. Right, but I was a student. Since yeah. 2001, you see any changes? It, well, you know what? I think when I came, like the lower um, level, th those little cabanas or, or cabins, as I call them. Call them these nice yeah. names: cabins, cabanas. <laughs> they were huts. Trailers. There you Trailers, go. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, re I was I was really kind of a part when I first got here. I was really kind of a part of. There was a lot of surplus in in these trailers, yeah, right. and I remember myself and Paul Mounds and um, a few other people um, giving chairs to uh, other schools like high schools, Manchester right. High Schools, uh, schools right. around, um, and desks and and you know just like a lot of surplus yeah. that we we I was involved with that so. Uh, and then I turn around and and everything's gone and there's nice landscaping yeah. and nice grass it's beautiful yeah. yeah it's gorgeous now yeah. I think we should you know yeah. put some swings up or something right. uh, but yeah I think the transition of that area being cleaned up and uh, uh, done over okay. is the change that, yeah. that I was a part of right. and that I saw and I do remember this they used to we used to start sending surplus furniture down there. The buildings were empty anyway, so let's just store stuff down. And that's right. what it was. It was all full of stuff, yeah. and um, and the schools that that we actually gave it to, they were, they were thrilled to get yeah. our old stuff. Sure. So that was really nice. Yeah, you know.
Okay, thanks. Anything that you want to add about any experiences you've had here? People you work with, anybody? Outstanding impression that they left on you? You know what? I, I, I grew to um, uh, have contact with so many yeah. that, that um, and I, I, you know, I, I've never had a problem with right. anyone. It was, all my experiences have been positive. Right. Um, and, um, and that's about it. There's no one that really stands out. I can't say okay. that. I can say that I, um, I, I just have a good rapport with Right. Many, 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 many right. people, whether they're faculty or staff or even some of the uh, uh, the students yeah. that if I had any constant, like who did I see in the halls that year? And she said, I finally graduated. Ah. I said, you did? <laughs> Great. You know, good luck or something. Right. Yeah. Julie, Julie. She was um, an officer in um, in the student senate, and I think she, she was with one of the clubs an officer too. So she, her, and I had a lot of Larkin, Larkin Julie Phi Larkin. Kappa yes, five, yeah. five. Yep. Yeah. And uh, so I had a, a lot to do with her. Yeah. And and I, I think it was her the other day that just waved and said, "I finally graduated." And I said, "Great." So um, so I mean, those are the things that I remember that uh, sure. my experiences that um, that make coming yeah. to Manchester every day a pleasant experience. Yeah. We've had people talk to us about the kind of feeling around the campus, uh, the support from other staff members or faculty. Do you feel the same thing? In terms I of do, that? I do, and I think. Togetherness um, almost, right? Yeah, and I think a few of the things. One is the farmers market, which right. is great. Yeah. You know, yeah. we're every Wednesday. It's like, oh, what do I need today That's for fun. vegetables? And you know. Uh, and we'll go down and, and, and browse. And then I also think the garden that we have, uh, that we've done, I, yeah. we, we took a walk down that way a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, wow, you know, you guys really did a lot of work the back there. Gardens, yeah. yeah, the community gardens yeah. is great. So, um, you know, and, and, and that shows a team effort. I mean, without team effort, these little things around us wouldn't happen. That's right. Exactly. You know, that's not yeah. an individual person that did that. That was right. a collective yeah. team effort, and, and it's... Uh, it's yeah. well, good. Thank you very much. Okay. Right. Thanks. Am I done? Anything you want to add? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, Thank great. Well, that was...